We've just uh, arrived back in Starkville after our epic journey to Pennsylvania to lay to rest the body of our little uh, grandson, Mac. And I wanted to tell you a little story. I hope it'll be encouragement to you. Our longing has been that this little seed uh, will sprout into a tremendous work of God. It's just like the Lord to do that sort of thing. When you think of a little seed that somehow breaks through a concrete pad, uh, you see that life, the explosive power of life that actually can break open the concrete. And and that's what we're longing for, that, that this little seed will have an influence in softening, in breaking hard hearts, and in uh, manifesting the very life and power of God. The day before we headed for home, my daughter and I visited uh, the florist and the funeral home and other people that had helped and contributed uh, during those difficult days. There's a little verse that I'd like to quote to you that really we discovered to our amazement. It's in the 119th Psalm, and uh, it says in verse 74, those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I have hoped in your word. Listen to it again. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I have hoped in your word. So as we were talking to various people, we came on this lady. I'm not going to get into a lot of details because it's a, it's a personal story, but she seemed a little reserved when we tried to bring up the spiritual matters. After the fact, we discovered why that was. But then I think it was maybe the turning point when my daughter Andrea mentioned that it was not about religion. It was a relationship with the Lord that made the difference. And she was just like a flower opening up to us and told us her story, how she had been a little immigrant girl from Italy, uh, had come over when she was about three years old and struggled with the language. She was a little bit overweight. She was kind of shunned by the other children, went to a Catholic school, and she really had difficulty with the language. And she said uh, when they would go to the library to check out books, uh, she wasn't wanting to check out books because she didn't know how to read well. But there was one Bible, a large Bible, with full-size colored plates showing the Bible stories. And she would check this book out and she would look at the pictures. And one day the librarian said, now this book, we see there are two full uh, lists of all the names of those who've checked out this book. And they're all your name. She said, do you read the Bible? And this little girl said, no, I don't read the Bible. I just look at the pictures. But anyway, she seemed stirred by this. And uh, as she was at home one day with the Bible and her uh, up above her headboard, uh, she took it down and she opened the Bible at random and she read these words. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. And without me, you can do nothing. And at that moment, she said, I came to realize that this great church system was actually a hoax, that I didn't need all of that, that what I needed was Jesus. And she said, in my heart, I, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but I just put my trust in him. Well, she didn't continue reading. She struggled with reading, and so she left off. She grew up. She got married. She raised her family. She had several children, uh, was a stay-at-home mom. And then she said came the worldwide lockdown. And she said, I knew what it was about. God was getting people to sit and be quiet and think. And she said, I had had a Bible for five years and I hadn't read it. And I went and got it and I opened it up and it opened up a whole new world to me. 
and God began to speak to me through his word. And it was so wonderful, everything he was showing me. He changed my thinking about me and about him. And everything became alive to me. She said I would get up at four in the morning and read until I would go to work. And I just loved to read the Bible. And the more I read it, the more I realized everything I need is found in him. She told how this um, discovery of the Bible, she said it shook my family. It shook my house. And she said, I don't really trust other religions because uh, she was so betrayed. That's why she'd been so reserved when we spoke to her. She thought we were just some more religious folk. But as we spoke with her, she was so encouraged. And she, she said her last words, to us where this has been so invigorating. And so pray for this dear woman. It may be that she might get involved in a Bible study with the family there. But, but listen to these words again. Here's David saying, those who fear you, that would be us, will be glad when they see me. That was this dear lady because I have hoped in your word. One verse from the Bible was the cause of life springing up in her heart. And she realized that all of this machinery that she saw in the church where she attended was completely unnecessary, was getting in the way, and that what she needed was just a relationship with the Lord. And as she opened the word of God, she discovered in it, she said, you know, in our religion, people were not encouraged to read the Bible. But when I opened it and discovered a whole wonderful world there, she was just delighting in the Lord and delighting in his word, hoping in his word. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. We were glad to meet her. We were glad to see the joy of the Lord in her face. We were glad to hear the testimony of a woman who had been misled for so long and then discovered in this beautiful book, this wonderful Savior and this glorious Lord who was prepared to be her all in all, and that's how she felt. The Lord was everything she needed. She had discovered how rich she was in the Lord Jesus. And may the Lord encourage all of us to realize again the power of a little seed, the power of a sentence out of the scripture. Let's have hope in the, in the word of God. Let's have confidence in the word of God. And when people meet us, people who fear the Lord, they will be glad when they see the word of God actively working and transforming us. And this is what she said. Oh, oh, he's changing me. He's changed me and he's changing me. God will change you when you listen to his word. May God bless you all and regain in all of us this, this singleness of mind, this confidence in God's word, this delight in his person and in his presence. And may we also cause others to be glad when they meet us because we have hope in his work.